How's everybody doing? Teddy Mag here. Uh, coming at you guys with a deck profile. Um, we went to a tournament. I went in with my deck. And we were playing at Primetime Collectibles. Uh, the shop that is letting us run our Stacks tournaments. Uh, they started running their own tournaments. They're going to try to do them every Monday. Uh, we had a 15 player show up. It was a good overall tournament. Very fun. Good, um, good location. Uh, pretty sure you've seen the posts, the videos we've made, uh, check them out, check out their Instagram, really good place. Uh, the prizing was also very spectacular, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have pictures of the prizing and everything around here, uh, somewhere in this. Uh, uh, so yeah, I went in today with, I went in Monday, I apologize, I went in Monday with my deck, uh, and here it is. It's uh, Super Heavy Samurais. The reason why I'm profiling this is because I managed to get first. Yes, I managed to get first at a local tournament, which surprised me. Um, I know the deck is still alive, it's still really strong, but uh, thanks to Duelist Nexus, it became just slightly more consistent than what it was before. So we're playing the three Wakaushi standard, we're playing three wagons. So we're playing three Super Heavy Samurai Wagons. He is the Searcher and Extent and Continuer. Uh, we are also playing three Motorbike, the most important Searcher because not only does he discard from hand, but he is also a Tuner. Uh, you are playing two of the Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Benki, Searcher for any of the Soul Cards, which we'll get to later. We're playing two of the Scales. Most people only run one, I like two. We're playing one of General Coral. He is a level 8 scale, and then his 500 defense does matter. And we are playing one Super Heavy Samurai Stealthy. That's it for the Super Heavy Samurais. Uh, onto the Super Heavy Samurai Soul Cards. So the Soul Cards are basically equipments that you search off of Monk um, and Wagon. So we have three Soul Piercer, which is a searcher, not once per turn. We do play two Soul Peacemaker. You always want to see it, uh, whether it's opening hand or search it right away because this lets you continue your plays a lot. Uh, we are playing one Soul Claw. Uh, attached to something becomes a creature. Or if it's attached to a Super Heavy Samurai, you could also um, gain 500 attack and defense. Soul Horns, if it's attached to a creature, it. Uh, you could detach, become a, become a creature, or it, the, the creature attacks twice. And Soul Gaia. So that's all I'm playing for the Super Heavy Samurai Soul cards. Uh, we did up the deck. It is now running at 42. Uh, reason being, we are running three Revolution Synchrons. It is a new card from Duelist Nexus. It's a Machine Tuner Level 3 Earth. The biggest reason why this helps the deck out extend so hard and so fast is if you synchro summon a power tool monster or a level 7 or 8 dragon monster, I can use this tuner from hand. So if I have a super heavy samurai on the board and they think it's dead in the water, I can immediately synchro for something using him in hand if I synchro for a 7 or an 8 dragon. Which did come up because I changed the extra deck. Uh, so continuing on with the deck, we are running two Re Therian King Regulus. I love two. I will always play two. I don't know why people decided to cut them to one. I just love seeing them in hand. Uh, always a good extender. Always good to have in hand. In case they ever break your board, you always want to search. And that's very viable thanks to Metal Crunch. One Ancient Gearbox. Searcher. And one Infinitrack Tunneler. Pot of Avarice. Shuffle back five, draw two. Always amazing. And then round off for the hand traps, we are playing three Ash Blossom, three Ghost Ogres. We're playing only two Effect Veiler. And lastly, we're playing two Droll and Awkward. A little bit inconvenient or unconvenient, but at the same time, it's really good. The hand traps are good. So the main changes to the extra deck, thanks to Revolution Synchron, have now become Ancient Fairy Dragon. So he is a 7. If I have a level 4 tune, uh, level four Super Heavy Samurai, make this with Revolution Synchron. 
Uh, Revolution Synchron also has another effect where if I control a Dragon Synchro on the field, mill the top card of the, of the deck, and he comes out as a level 1 tuner. So then, why, why is that important? Because you make Ancient Fairy Dragon, you could extend your plays because Ancient Fairy Dragon lets you summon a level 4 monster from hand. You cannot conduct your battle phase that turn, but you then would synchro into Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which is an, a monster negate, a very strong monster negate. So with Revolution Synchron, you can make this as early as uh, the, third synch the third summon, which will then make it nib proof. So that's the biggest two uh, changes in the extra deck. Continuing on, it's a little bit standard. Uh, Tilting Entrainment, you make it to keep playing with Wakaushi. Excel Synchro Dragon to synchro up by bringing out a tuner. Stardust Dragon, because you always want to have it. I just don't like not having the target for Excel Synchro. And it does come up. Uh, Oral Load Savage Dragon, Omni Negate. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Ninja, Saratobi. Back row, back rolls, back row pop, and burn for five. And he's a level eight Super Heavy Samurai, if, if I'm ever locked into Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, Baron de Fleur, you can make it with Excel. You can make it with uh, any of the synchro cards you have in your hand. Very good, very strong. Omni Negate. And Big Daddy Super Heavy Samurai Brave Masawaro. Uh, so obviously he can attack and face up defense, 4k defense. And if you attach Soul Horns and Soul Claw, which has helped me win a lot of games recently, you attack for 44 to 45 twice. Yes. Um, then considering on, we do play one Ancient Gear Ballista. Search Ancient Gearbox and continue plays. We are playing one Clifford Genius to help search out Therion, Metal Cruncher, or some cards in the side like uh, um, Spell Canceller and Jinzo. And we are playing one Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, because you always make her with three, minimum three, and up to four negates. Four negates more consistently now thanks to Revolution Synchron. Lastly, we are playing one Spriggan's Merrymaker. Reason being, you just use it to overlay Gigantic Sharp champion Thargus to get your Therion to hand and this actually did come up at this tournament where I made this attacked and then overlaid double A Zeus on top and blow up board and then attack for game next game next turn with him and Therion so yeah guys that is my deck profile sorry it's a little bit rushed I did explain a lot of the combos in the previous video where I got third with the deck um at uh, the stacks tournament but this time i managed to get first and all thanks to the small slight changes of the three cards of five cards for the deck which is your three revolution synchrons and your two new synchros ancient fairy dragon and crystal wing synchro dragon so that's it for now guys thank you very much don't forget to check out Prime Time Collectibles. Uh, check them out on Instagram. Go check them out if you can. They're located in Whittier, and they are a fantastic store. And again, they will be hosting regular Monday tournaments. So that's it for now. Teddy, out.